Do you want to see some shotguns? Tron 2.0. The suffusion rod is a sci-fi shotgun type. The word suffusion is defined as spreading out, in fact. Immaculately modelled and animated, they did a great job of making a cyberspace shotgun. It's unfamiliar, but fun nonetheless. Chaser. Winchester Double Barrel Automatic. It's a nice shotgun. Good size on screen and placement, single or double shots for tactical gunplay, some decent impacts on enemies, although some non-existent too. Odd how two shells are ejected when firing single shots, however. Warhammer Fire Warrior. This game is an absolute slog. Enemies are bullet sponges, and the shotgun kind of remedies that, but it's still one of the worst to play with. Painfully slow, as if the Tau guy who you play as forgets it requires pumping after each shot. Do not play this game. Enjoy your life instead. Judge Dread, Dread versus Death. Living or dead, justice will be served. The Arbitrator has nice looks and sound, but a bit wooden in its animation. The biggest shame is the ragdoll physics now supplanting vastly superior handcrafted death and stagger animations in this era of gaming. When you beat an enemy, you want to see its character emphasized in its final death throes, the confirmation of their unique demise. Not a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Rinse and repeat for the stump gun. If you have one shotgun already that has a slow rate of fire, you better make sure the next one is faster. What we get though are two competent and very similar shotguns. Creed, or The Creed, or Kohan 2. How many names do they want? This is a trusty shotgun that looks nice, sounds okay, and reloads fine until it snaps back into place. Enemies are complete trash and don't have any hit animations. You get no meaningful feedback at that most crucial of points. You're shooting air in this game. Mace Griffin all over again. Anger Breaker. It's the same as before, but now you triple the pellets per shot. I would have expected this thing to jib enemies at this point, but no, nothing different. Kudos for making a triple barrel shotgun in the first place, but there just isn't a fun game here to use it within. Thirteen. This one has decent gunplay, but it's another case of getting your view completely obscured by the pump animation. Looks naff, and the art style doesn't save it either, but it's okay to use. The biggest problem with the hunting gun is the nonsense delay between firing each barrel. You're anticipating that you can fire the second shot already, but nope, nothing happens. Just a gormless, infuriating pause. <laughs> Looks better than the other shotgun, but the impact and projectile is unchanged. A missed opportunity here.
Deus Ex Invisible War. The gun model looks alright and that's about it. Everything else is way below par for a late 2003 title. Hang on, I remember enjoying this game when it first came out, so I must have used different weapons. The shotgun here is somehow worse than in the original Deus Ex. It's almost System Shock 2 bad. Enemies don't even flinch when shot point blank. Give this a miss. That's all for this episode. See you in the next one. Hit subscribe for more. Mmm, I love it.